Thank you for the kind words of introduction uh, for myself and uh, the host of supporters who are here to assist me. Most Reverend Bishop Gabriel Kumoji and uh, most Reverend Bishop Emeritus Anthony Adamite, Tawa Mafia, Toby Street, the third, Abadada, Toby Awosi, Toby Agassi Awosi, His Excellency Dan Abodapi, Tobio Mamao, the parish priest, the church committee, the centenary planning committee, Reverend Fathers, Reverend, Mad Reverend Sisters, the entire faithful, good morning and welcome to you all. I am extremely honored to be selected or invited to preside over this ceremony, knowing that there are many, many big sons and daughters of this town of Abo. Uh, the special event that we are here to celebrate today is the grand climax of the centenary celebration of the St. Teresa of the Christ Jesus Catholic Church here at Abo. This celebration started about a year ago and I was fortunate to be a part of that event. Um, today is the climax. 100 years of service to God and mankind. That is what this celebration is all about. And I believe it's no mean an achievement for any institution to clock 100 years. Our theme today, the Abor Mission, a century of spreading the Catholic faith, honoring the past and embracing the future with hope is indeed a fitting theme for today's event. To be precise, it was 100 years ago, 101 to be precise, when a small group of missionaries and believers both foreign and local came together to share a vision. And that vision was to spread the message of Jesus Christ according to the Catholic faith to the people of this area. Other faiths like the Presbyterians have been before us. In fact, they have been here about 70, 80 years before we started. But through the hard work of the early believers, the Catholic Church here at Abo and its environs have proven that nothing is impossible when willing hearts and minds get together to do the will of God. The church at Abo became the center of Catholicism for the entire area. In fact, a lot has been accomplished so far as civic responsibilities are concerned. Years ago, you cannot have any birth records unless you come to this church 
compound. I am one of those who have my records here, coming from my TRB. The church also, in support of education, established many schools in every village and town in the district. And again, I am a product of the Catholic school system, starting from kindergarten, primary, middle school, as well as secondary school. The church equally established medical centers made of clinics and health posts to take care of medical needs of our people. So what this church has done for the community as a whole cannot be measured. For us to live in today, I think it behoves us to give back a little for all the benefits that we have obtained from the services rendered by the church. My brothers and sisters in Christ, at the launching of the anniversary last year, the goal was to try and build a rectory for our priests who supervise the activities of the church. The fundraising was started and it is still on. And I'm appealing to all of us here to do a little bit of charity work today as well as in the days to come so that we can realize the goal of putting up a befitting rectory for our parish priest and his assistants. I think I have spoken enough. We are here to celebrate, to enjoy, enjoy ourselves, to honor those who have come before us, and we as a bridge to the future should also make sure that tomorrow those who will come after us will enjoy things that we have been able to accomplish and therefore I appeal to everyone here to practice that noble virtue of charity. Enjoy yourselves. There are a lot of programs on the agenda for today. Uh, enjoy it, but at the end of the day, let's have one common uh, focus to ensure that come next year, the rectory will be built, and then the compound pavement that has started can also be completed. I thank you all for coming, and I wish you a very good celebration. Thank you. Oh, I thought you were